the IAD corner. So hopefully this time it works. It is a monthly online meeting place for international students at KKU. Yeah, it is a place where you can meet other students and make new friends, both Thai and foreign. It is a place where you can exchange experiences, ideas and tips with each other about studying at KKU and about life as a foreigner in Thailand. We also invite Thai students to the AED corner so you can exchange your views with the Thai person. You can also seek advice and ask questions about studying and living in Thailand during the Q&A sessions. For instance, about life on campus, sport facilities, what to do in Kronken or visa extension. If you have any questions, let us know. We will give specific and detailed information about that. Learning from these experiences of each other will help you make the best out of your study at KKU and of living in Thailand. The IAD Corner also aims to provide you with a sense of belonging to the KKU community and seeing Thailand as your second home. The information that the IAD Corner will provide will also help KKU improve its internationalization. Every topic about studying at KKU and about living in Thailand can be discussed. Just to name a few examples, the contact with the Thai staff, language experiences during college, suggestions for KKU that will help you improve your study or the international atmosphere at KKU, life on campus and scholarships. Regarding living in Thailand, think of topics such as what to do in Konken, health and medical issues, language and cultural experiences, activities outside college, such as sport and recreation, even personal issues if you want to, like making friends, visa extension, cost of living and COVID. All these topics on which you either seek advice or just want to share your experiences with other students so you can learn from each other can be discussed. With the IAD Corner, we hope to make your life in Thailand and your study at KKU easier and more fun. The IAD Corner is on every first Friday of the month from 10 to 11 in the morning. It is an online meeting via Zoom like this. We will send you the invitation and the Zoom link two weeks in advance and we will ask you to send us your questions on the topics on which you would like to have more information. During the session, we will give more detailed information. We will answer your questions. And at the end, we will have some fun and motivational games to break the ice. We gladly welcome you as an international student, as well as Thai students to the AD corner. So we'll see you on Friday, which is right now. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ajahn Hendrik, for the nice uh, presentation of the IED Corner. It's, 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 it's finally here. I mean, yes. yeah, I understand that the presence of IED is very important for international students. Yes, so right. So therefore, we understand mm -hmm. and then we uh, launch this IED Corner in order to, to be the great bridge, right, between the gap that international students face in daily life and us as the inter, uh, university sites mm -hmm. try to help you international student uh, enjoy your yes, study enjoy. And life here in Konkan University. Okay, but actually we have one one more video about what is IAD Corner. Okay. So uh, one, uh, we will share you, we will show you. Ha. Okay, please.
What's up guys, my name is Agung Purawidian, a foreign international relations officer here at Konken University. I'm sure you are wondering how to become international student, how they live, how they stay, and how they study. To find out, International First Division is going to run a program, namely ID Corner. Hmm, what is that about? I'm hanging with Achan Hendrik, we are going to find out. Let's go! IAB Corner is a monthly online meeting place for international students at KKU. Here you can meet other international students, exchange experience with each other, talk about studying at KKU and about living in Thailand, as well as give suggestions that can help you make the best out of your stay in Konkan. Being an international student has its challenge, therefore I did try to connect international students with each other and Thai community to discuss the challenge, find perspective, solve the problem, and to create a good balance between study and life in Konkan University. During the IAD corner, you can also discuss questions you may have about being an international student at KKU. For instance, about your study, visa, life on campus, what to do after hours, and cost of living. Therefore, the IAD Corner is a meeting place for international students and for Thai students who want to feel the international flavor of KKU. So, see you every first Friday of the month. Bye bye! Is it ready? Start. Okay. Okay. So we hope you understand very well about IAD Corner. So the next session we will move to IAD Hour. Hour. This one? Yes, this one. All right. Actually, we do have uh, uh, many questions uh, being posed by you guys international student that you need the answer so we try to find the, yes. the answer that may uh, what do we call it the answer solve the problem that yes. you have so the first question come come from nisa nisa yeah he is yes. the indonesian he's indonesian studying at the faculty of business administration and, and accountancy, accountancy. His question is, how can the international student join the exchange program to abroad? Well, that's very uh, interesting question. Yes. So the first thing that you have to do, I mean, the, the first thing, the, the best answer is that you can, right? But yes. we are not sure that if you need some like fund or assistant, or what we call a, a supporting fund. Yes scholarship right uh, uh may you is maybe you need that so um yeah the first thing that you need to have is the information yes where you have to where you want to go and which country and then which program whether it's just exchange program or just research program so we advise you to visit id website right because um, almost every day we... yes we will post the announcement of the exchange program or another activities that maybe some of international students can join on that activity or the program and luckily that today we also have Pisirinya or Pimon who taking care of this maybe Pimon can give some advice to students 
Hello, สวัสดีค่ะ Um, so the question is from Nisa. Ah, uh, uh, are you here, Nisa? Or oh, everyone? <laughs> well, ah. Uh, yes, I'm here. Ah, okay. So, um, firstly, do do you ex uh, have specific what kind of exchange program like just for research or exchange in in like a one semester or something? Do you have yeah. Do you have any expect ex, uh, specific what kind of the exchange program? Yes, actually, I have a specific exchange program. For instance, like doing the research and also for the summer summer course or a short course to abroad, something like that. Okay, so yeah, so normally we uh, we have uh, many we have the. A lot of exchange program, like as you said. So if we got information from the uni university, they just they like a uh, uh, opening for apply. We will post and um an announcement on our program uh, on our website mainly. Uh, so you can visit our website and check your and check the the period of the time that when they what the uh, duration of the program. And also, the important thing is you have to check the eligible eligibility of the applying, right? Uh, uh, that's a uh, or uh, what are they qualify for, right? And this is the the first the first the first thing. And secondly, you may ask from your faculty that they have any uh any kind of exchange program that you would like. That you will may interesting because each faculty they may have, uh, like a contact with other university by the, by themselves that, or uh, they just ha uh, have like, uh, only only a student of that faculty can apply to, yes, that's a yeah. Is it uh, answer your question? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Come on. Uh, I would like to demonstrate how can you get the information about the, uh, the yes. program, right? So can we go? To, do you see the screen here? Okay. Okay. Can you can we go to the what uh, we call this one? ID? Yes, okay. this website. This is our website, ID website. Right, and then you can circle down until this one. Sorry. Yeah, this one. The menu of general scholarship. Then you may click on the more you find. Then you can find many scholarship that you see here. If there is a program that you think uh, is very mm. interesting to apply in, you can go to click on that. Yes. Oh, this is for the master. Sorry, maybe we can find the example. Uh, um, Japanese studies program. For example. This is an example. Then you can see uh, the information here. If you don't understand, you can click on, click right click, and then you can translate into your language. Okay. Then if you if you still get confused, you can come to to <laughs> us or directly today. contact the staff. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. If if you if you need more information, yes, you can contact us about the the program that you're interesting to apply for. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. Thank you so much. As uh, actually, I got confused that how to do the first like application. So maybe I will go to your office or. I need to read of each the information from this website. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, let, let me answer. Uh, for firstly, if you're interested, you can send us an email to ask about that program because some program uh, they need to nominate by uh, the U uh, Kongan University. So after that, uh, I will explain you later about how to. Uh, collect the document or how to send the information or uh, how to apply for uh, that program. I see. Thank you. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay, we move to another questions. The next questions from 
our friends from India. India. Do we have Miss Funan Tingle here? Hello, Fi. Hello. Namaste. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> how, 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 how do we greet in, in India? India? It's generally like hello, namaste. That's hello, namaste. namaste. <laughs> Same as Vadika. Vadika. Okay. So you got question. You have you delivered the question here. How to get yeah. the Indian, Indian staff list from PKU or Department for Research Work? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when you get your question uh, the first thing that pop up in our mind is uh, we have to make the like the list, the list and then we have to see our database and if we share the database it's quite strictly yes. i mean we have to uh, uh, consider first yes. but in order to solve your problem we try to see our student student or database. staff yeah. yeah and we found out that they they is the one indian staff yes who working here in K K kku uh is the mr rakha radha krishnan radha krishnan yes radha krishnan. Mr. Krishna, maybe yes and he's working at the faculty of medicine right and maybe you you get you get to know him already? No, 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 no. I oh. just pronounced name. So how can I be in touch with him? Uh, maybe we we could ask um send his email contact to you later. This meeting ha huh? directly sent to you later. Oh, that's really great. Because huh? like, I asked because I started my research work now. So like it's on Indian uh, Indian entrepreneurs. So initially I start with the find Indian in Konkan. So like I should ask, start to like find in, in Konkan University. Like I got to know some information about this, that there is some uh, Indian staff also in KKU and different departments. So I thought like uh, you will give me some resolution about that. So, yeah. Okay, thank right. you. Also, we have another um, Indian, I think we, he works she works for Mekong Institute. Is that Mekong? Yes, Mekong. Yes. Okay, you can. Yes, I saw that she is from the department. Team. And then this one, Trade and Investment Facilitation Department. Zara. His name Sanchita. is Sanchita. Sanchita Chatterjee. Chatterjee. And then when then. He, he, she also put the CP here, maybe we can get any mm. contact, Great. detail contact that you can. Ah, uh, yeah, there's an email here. Mm. Right. We will share with you this information uh, later because uh, it's quite. Yeah. We are worried that we miss, I mean, we do, we do uh, miss, we have. All right, Miss Pungnam, yes. do you get the answer or you are still have any? Still, I do have different questions with this. If you want us to contact her, please, mm -hmm. you can <laughs> send us yes. an email or a, a question in the box. <clears throat> No, like um, that, as you suggested me, a uh, one name is Radha Krishna. So, um, if with your permission, if there is anything like I can be connect with him through you, or I can connect with him directly to go to the department, asking them. So maybe uh, recommend Mr. Krishna. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Thank you. Next question, please. Uh, yeah, I do have a different question too. Can uh, I ask? Sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, I I am asking about like um there is like uh uh the, about you just mentioned about the cost of living management so balancing like how you are helping in that way. Can you go back this year? Could you please repeat the question again? Cost Sorry. living. Cost Cost living. living. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, that the question, like uh, while this uh, watching the PPT, there is a question about your managing or helping 
in cost of living for international students. So can you explain me more about that? Actually, we, uh, we, we are not helping uh, cost of management. The idea of this uh, IED corner is uh, for international students to uh, talk with each other. If you have a specific problem about um, uh, managing cost of living, for instance, your rent is very high or um, something else, um, talk to other students. Uh, how do they manage their uh, cost of living? Maybe you can get some ideas from the way they do it. We, we are not uh, assisting um, in, in that aspect. So the IED Corner is more a forum for international students to, uh, to contact each other and talk about issues like this. Okay, okay so one more question I do have, like yeah. um, that uh, about the like language, like um, I observed that when I came here, it's really um, facing problem to communicate with uh, like other students or staff. But only few staff know well English, so like it's easy to communicate with them. So to like to get rid about this problem, I have only one question. There is any any culture or language program to I can learn Thai? Uh -huh. Learn Thai. Uh, okay, let let me let me um answer. Uh, actually, the graduate school. Right, uh, Nongfa, can you open the graduate school? Right? Yeah, actually, they have like a Thai, Thai program for international students every year. So, you may keep updated on this website, they will announce when they uh, will open for application. Yeah, Thai, uh, Thai, Thai language course. Yeah, this one. So, this, this, this round, they said they will open about in July. So you July. might keep okay. uh, July. So July. you might keep keep update on on this website. Mm -hmm. And actually, this this program, uh, they said it's kind of uh full very quickly. So you might mm -hmm. to 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 have a look uh, and keep update time to time. Every Monday and Thursday. Yes. So it will like uh, it will go start with on July. Yes, they say on in July in in this July, right? But they they didn't specific yet. Uh, when the day they they just say uh, approximately. And if if they already um announcement the the application, I I I will um I will inform all of you again. Thank you so much, our, Ka. Yeah, On our website. Ka. 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 Last question I do have. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. No, not at all. <laughs> now, one more question do I have like um about like um there's one more my friend like who already done with his like PhD in India, so he's really um, excited and want to be a uh, joint proposed doc. What's the quickie you? So like um there is any program like in in social science to on postdoc. Okay, um, uh, we need a time to answer the, this question, but <laughs> we, because we have to talk based on the data or the schedule, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe just for your information, this, the postdoc application uh, can be proposed by the lecture from internal KKU. So, we have to contact the advisor directly and then let the, the advisor register for the student. So um, then the, the open application will be announced to the advisor internally. Okay. We do, so we do not we do not open it uh, like, globally. Yeah. Globally. We just internally and then let the advisor search and find out which one the uh, the, the first postdoc fellow that can um, be apply. yeah can apply so this 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 is the just uh, very brief information we will answer later when we get very comprehensive uh, answer or information well, i can write an email later or you will provide yes. me any information regarding this sure sure we are happy 
Is there any fund assistance to join an international seminar training for KKU Active Recruitment Scholarship holder from Anita? Anita, I, okay, Miss Anita. Uh, um, I uh, I admit that I think you are the Active Recruitment Scholarship holder. It it refers to the current student, so it doesn't you don't have to. You don't have to classify yourself as the active recruitment scholarship holder or no. Um, as the current student, you still can apply and get opportunity to have fund assistance. So um, it's better for you to go to check to the web graduate school website here, right here. And then usually annually there is research ah this one research publication. So basically graduate school will provide many information about graduate student. If you interest in funding or sub training, you can go to this website to research more information. Right. For example, this program provided by graduate school, they provide us a research publication scholarship. There, there are a criteria here that you can read and try to apply. And also the other program, Overseas, Overseas Research, research scholarships. scholarships. You can conduct your research abroad. These are the criteria, <coughs> sorry, that you can apply. So we we mm -hmm. emphasize you, right? <laughs> Not to be classify yourself as I am active recruitment holder and they are uh, ASEAN Games scholarship mm. holder. As long as you are students Student of, KU, of KKU, you can, you can apply. You can apply. Even there is no uh, regulation mentioning that. You, as you are worthy of active mm. equipment, you cannot apply can. for another. Every KKU can. Right. <coughs> Every program provided for, for the student uh, can be applied by mm. every student, even though you are worthy of ASEAN Games Scholarship Program or Active Equipment Program, it doesn't matter. Crap. Um, speaking about active recruitment, do now we are gonna have open house right here, Kum. Right. Chai. Is there any information for the? Yeah. Open house. Ah, uh, to go to the website. Okay. But maybe show show this one, can I? Yeah, there is an event upcoming event here, namely virtually open house. You can share this information to your friend. Or yes, your friend. In order to <coughs> to get study here in Pumpkin University. Miss Anita, are you here? Okay, there is no response from here. Ah, okay. If she's not here, maybe. <laughs> We, we can move to the next, next question. question. All right. So question <coughs> number four, funding for international conference and how can I get that opportunity, opportunity of teaching assistant? So for the 4.1, maybe the same. Yeah. Like, like, like Akum just explained, but how can I get that opportunity of teaching assistant? So I think I suggest you to maybe directly ask your lecturers or advisor in, in the faculty or the graduate department at the faculty first because it's quite private in the faculty and the lecturer in that department will know exactly that all this time she or he needs the assistant. Yes, so I suggest you to contact your advisor or your staff at the graduate department at your faculty. Right, but hit the point very good. 
that you, we need very active student to ask the mm-hmm. advisor Ajan Kap, is there any TA in my cup? <laughs> you Hi. can ask directly to the advisor and uh, if the advisor is willing to help you, they can propose yourself to be a TA in his or her mm-hmm. program. And I believe that he's, he's studying. I mean, he's from Niza. I think Nizar knows uh, teaching assistant from many university that uh, teaching assistant is op- is open yes, for open. for like open recruitment something like that. So you may have interest to apply for that in KKU, but uh, in the in KKU system is quite uh, very. Like Not direct, right. uh, direct. <laughs> so yes. you have to ask direct to <laughs> the <laughs> advisor. Okay, my Hanisa. Nisa, do you... are you there, Nisa? Okay, maybe Nisa not here. Nisa <laughs> is not here. Okay. okay. Next question. Ooh, Neni from Nene. Indonesia. How to get more Thai friends and know more about Thai culture? <laughs> wow, very interesting. Any... Can you suggest? <laughs> I think there are many suggestions. Um, th- there's there's not a specific scenario for that. Uh, first of all, I think you can you can try to contact uh, Thai students in your direct um, uh, study environment in the in the college in the faculty uh, where you're working. Uh, there are many maybe after college activities, uh, join sport activities. Um, maybe you have specific hobbies like uh, cooking or dancing or uh, acting or something like that. So you can join an activity where uh, where that is being done and you will meet plenty of Thai people. Uh, and you will find out uh, probably pretty quickly uh, which Thai people you can connect with easily and make friends with. Um, so inside the university as well as outside the university, um, uh, you have to be a bit outgoing, I think. Don't be too shy. Um, just go for it. Any, okay. any, anything to add? Do we have uh, some Thai sure. students here? Yes. Can I share uh, some idea? Yeah, from Nong Kiki, Thai student here. Can you share with your friend? For sure. Okay. In my opinion, you can join the university activities if there is any, although I know there is not as much as the situation before the pandemic COVID-19, but you can also find Thai friends outside of the campus by joining the community. For example, like going to the gym, go for a run where there are many people running or many people joining any specific activities and try to be confident to approach people with a small talk in any community and you'll gradually get new friends. That's it for my idea. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Um, anyway, can you introduce yourself to your friend because you are a Thai student? Maybe they want to know you. Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm Kiki. I'm an intern student at International Affairs Division. Um, If you would like to get to know any place outside of KKU or ask about the experience, anything Thai culture, you can exchange with me. Uh, And nice to meet you all. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, thank you. Is there any Thai student here? Akun, can you observe the participant? Because I remember they also have some more Thai student here. Me, my car, me, no, con Thai, con nai, nai, so me, my car. Maybe you can stop first. It's me. Oh, no. Oh, you see. No, oi, right? Sure. Uh, Nong can you introduce yourself to your international friend? Sure. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Kao Pan uh, and you can call me Eri. I'm also an uh, interne- uh, internship student at 
IAD. And you can ask me anything that you want to know about Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe after this, we can uh, share your contact to your friends. Maybe you can get to know each other more after this yeah. meeting. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Ha. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the suggestion. To me, um, very quick tips about how to make friends with, uh, how to make a friend with Thai people is, you have five seconds to decide, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when you are at the coffee shop, you have five seconds to approach with the Thai, Thai people. Maybe yeah. just, just easy thing like, so di ka, so di ka, like just that. And you know, Thai people very friendly. They, they also want to practice English with foreigner and it will be great opportunity for them to, to ah, uh, 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 okay, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. They're very welcome to respond you back. Right. Okay, and, yeah. and talking Nene. about Thai culture, uh -huh. actually we also have next coming, maybe Songkran. Mm -hmm. on April and as I know Konkan University will arrange this event so maybe you can join this Songkran event with us to get to know more about Thai culture okay how is that Nanny did you get any point thank you Pa. Ah. okay thank you so much next question please next question okay it's from Saripa Fatima Yasmin, that student at the uh, Faculty of Associate a, Medical the, Science. The teaching assistant, like like I recommend. Oh, uh, for being a teacher assistant. Okay, we have already answered this mm -hmm. question. Um, right. Yeah, so directly contact your advisor or your lecturer in, in the department or your staff at graduate department. They will know deeply information about teaching a system and they can suggest you how to apply it all right right next question <laughs> from afin ulu azmi faculty of architecture how do we take a part-time job in kku <laughs> part-time job if i know the answer will do my part-time job <laughs> Is there any answer from you? Um, actually, if speaking about part time job, um, IAD, IAD, IAD have the program which is called Chitat in KKU Workplace. This program is like uh, open opportunity for student to go train or as an internship student to work at the KKU Workplace. And you also have some, um, some good compensation back. So this is we just start, we just start this program. And I think Afin, maybe uh, he joined. Yeah, I think so. yeah, Afin, maybe you can join for the next batch. <laughs> uh, is Afin here or not? Is he in the Zoom session? Afin, are you there? Afin, can you, can you come in, please? No, Afin is Afin, not here? But it's okay. Just uh, <laughs> maybe elaborate a little bit further. Um, I, I, I don't know what exactly Afin meant by a part-time job. Is the chit chat uh, fit within what, what he is expecting? Um, regarding working in Thailand, it is as a foreigner, uh, you need to fulfill some legal obligation. You cannot just right. work as a foreigner in Thailand. You cannot go to a shop and say, can I be your assistant? Or go to a restaurant and say, can I be the cook in your restaurant? As a foreigner, you need uh, you need a work permit mm -hmm. in order to do that. If you do not, not have a work permit, you cannot work legally in, in Thailand. So uh, my basic recommendation would be um, as a foreigner in Thailand, it is very difficult to go for a part-time job. And if you want one, uh, please follow the legal steps uh, in order to do that. And you, you need uh, a work permit. Mm. If you want it, we can assist you with that. Uh, we can, uh, <laughs> but it's um, the likelihood of uh, you finding a job is not very high. I must be honest in this. I see. I see. Uh, and very good answer, Khaja mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Thank you. Next question. Why? Oh, sorry. Next question In from Florentina Uni Arini. 
Why could the international also... students still have to pay assurance? Insurance. You mean in insurance? You mean health insurance, right? Health oh, insurance. You yeah, think, think about so. health insurance? Health insurance. Um, according to Kongen University announcement about the principle and procedure for international students health insurance, it is very important for students to provide efficient protection and care in terms of standardized health service to students. So we, we also post this regulation into our website. So you can go to our website, click the international student menu and click the health insurance. So we have some more information. And actually it's very important, right, Abum, about right. health insurance. Yes, this is kind of a uh, rules of games, right? As the foreign uh, citizen come across studying here in Konkan right. University, and then you are far away with your homeland. Chai. So if something happened with you in accidentally, uh, no one take care of you, right? Okay. So if, unless, at least you have the, uh, what kind of health insurance that can help you out uh, in the very accident, uh, what do you call happening something like that? Yes. <coughs> Pimon P. Sirinyaha, can you give some more information about health insurance to student? Yes, as Nongpa said, this is kind of the uh, regulation from, uh, from all of international students who would like to, to come here to for study. So this that that at at Jose, if you do not have uh, like uh, insurance, so uh, we can apply for you for the visa, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that the thing that's also important for yourself while you stay here in Thailand. Uh, yeah, this is the this is can help you when uh, you have some uh, accident or have like a. Or get something to go to the hospital. This kind of can help you at that time because you know that this this pain uh this payment is kind of uh, expensive if you do not have that one. Uh, if you have to pay by yourself. And also um, Nongfa, can you can you uh share on our website about the visa page? Okay. Uh, or insurance insurance. Uh, health insurance, right? Yes, this we, we got our information about this uh, issue for the for the international student, uh, such as health insurance company information, so that you can update and have a look, and decide that you can decide by your by yourself which company you would like to uh, to apply for or to ask for for that insurance. Uh, mostly Thai uh, international student, they already know very well which which company or some of them they already have done from their own country before they they come here in in Thailand as well. So you you have you have uh, you have your you can uh, you can make decision by by yourself. But at least finally you have to get in uh, insurance whatever of the company uh, and have and need to cover while you are stay in KKU or in Thailand. And also this is like the form right, to yes. make a report. Right. You have to fill in this form according to the question. Right. <clears throat> okay. Ha. Thank you so much, Kat Pimon. Okay. Next, please. From oh, from Thai student. The Faculty of Education. How do you manage your free time and <laughs> learning? What is your hobby? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, Hindi, can you suggest <laughs> the student how to manage your free time and learning? <laughs> uh, it's a question from a Thai student. Uh, is it a question to the international student or is it a question? Uh, from actually i think about uh, himself herself they can 
they can share the answer. Yes, uh, uh, is he here? So I would like to know too this question for for international student or for himself. Uh, is there a non non Jarawit you may ha? Is there non Jarawit? If he doesn't hear, maybe we can ask international student here as well. Maybe some of you can give some suggestion. Can directly call it. Can we point out one? Mm. Anyone, maybe anyone would like to, to share your idea? Nenny? Um. <laughs> Nenny, <laughs> <laughs> how do you manage your time? How do you make balance your activity and your study? study? work life balance. <laughs> okay, a couple of for your opportunity. Um, for myself, uh, I have um, I make a deadline for uh, any assignment from Ajan, but uh, uh, another time uh, I need to re uh, reward myself. So uh, I make a uh, that balance. I uh, wake up early morning and on uh, not sleeping uh, at night uh, like that. So uh, just happy and enjoy to uh, do it ourselves like this. Wow, brilliant! Good. Good student. <laughs> okay, maybe uh some Miss Indian. Who 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 nam? Who nam? Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Yeah. For me, actually, for um, I don't have a such time for free time. I don't have because in April I have to submit a proposal, so I have to keep keep studying, keep studying for the literature review and other things. So I can't suggest this because I don't have such time for myself <laughs> right now. <laughs> so for this, I, I, I guess I'm not the right person. Okay, that's okay. If, if I may give uh, some suggestion, um, I, I would recommend to do find some free time. Do not spend 24 hours a day mm -hmm. on your study because then you you uh, tend to focus too much and you uh, become sort of trapped in your own internal world so uh, try to find some time if you like sport go running or go play badminton or go swimming or something like that uh, if you like to make food if you like to try to make thai food in the after study go to the market and uh, ask uh, uh, the 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 how do you say the cook? Yes, the cook. Uh, if you order pad thai or if you order something, ask uh, the cook how she makes it or how he makes it. And uh, that immediately also gives you an opportunity to make friends with Thai people because uh, they will be happy to explain. And if uh, if there's a language barrier, uh, like if the, the, the cook does not speak English and you do not speak Thai, uh, then um, invite a, a Thai international student who can speak English and Thai uh, to accompany you. So mm -hmm. then you have a friend also with the uh, with the Thai student, um, and uh, the, the the Thai student uh, can practice her English with you, and you can uh, learn more about Thai culture with the Thai student. So um, just as a, as an example, but do take time to to find to find free time at least one or two hours a day do something else that has nothing to do with, it, with your study yes oh okay. and that's so many time. ways to manage your free time actually i have one more question like uh, this is like uh, uh, like pandemic situation covid situation is happening actually no one is coming on campus and for me, I don't know how to connect with the people because there's no way to like talk with them, to make new friends or something like that. So maybe there is a, another thing that you don't have a friend, so you will not go outside. If you have a friend, so you will think to go outside or to learn something new. But as if I don't find any way to get connected with the other international student and to any Thai friend. So that is a story about that. That's the reason I think. I we understand may. your yeah. your, situation. your situation. Yeah. But yeah, there also the the tips how to make friends come back again. <laughs> but I think that um as International Air Federation, we are the center of of everything. So maybe if we can arrange the event or activity, mm. 
maybe this is opportunity for you to find friends. So yeah, like for example, the IAD corner. I mm. think many of friends joining with you now. Mm. So maybe after this, you can go back and start to contact to them. Yes. Right. right. So I think all of international here yeah, will welcome you to be to be your friend anyway, right? Yes, I can be your friend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So. <laughs> we best to get better. So so we can. So so all of so all of so how can I connect with them all like after the meeting? Like like you like let her join in the student student like group first. <laughs> yes, that's do right. Like? Do you have a, do you have any like group? You can yeah. join with us. Yes, yeah, yes. Connect to to join the like group first, Simon. Yeah. And you can connect or uh, with another international student, or at least I think in your faculty have some international student right at the moment, even another department. Okay. Uh, you don't have idea right now. Ah, that. okay. So we uh, I um, we will give you a contact person, and then you you can uh, ask some suggestion from from the staff. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, and later on maybe uh, Akung will ask you the line, and he mm -hmm. will add you to the group line of international students. Oh, no, that's that's really great opportunity. <laughs> In the Which, group, we also have a Facebook page, yeah? KKU International Students. Yeah, the, so the Facebook group. Become a member of our Facebook page, uh, and if you have anything that you're interested in, for instance. Like I mentioned, the dancing or eating or fashion or something like that. Uh, post something on the Facebook page and ask if there are any any other international students who are interested in that, or maybe even Thai students who are interested in that. Hmm. Okay. And then you can connect that way. Okay. Ha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is our IED question hour, oh. but we still have one more session, which is about game, right, mm -hmm. Akung? Cut. Yes. So this is about guessing location. We want to know that how well you know about KKU location or content location. How many participants still? How many participants have? now? Oh, we still have many. So you can join our. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have many numbers. Right. We will call the name and you can Select. choose the mm. number. Right. It will literally open and then everyone can help each other to guess the what place. Yeah, <clears throat> what is that? What is that and what is the name of this picture? Okay. But I don't think you can choose num number. I can choose the first number, then uh, I would like to pick number uh, 12. 12. Number 12. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, Anyone know? Yes. Instead of now, what is this? Of um, football, I mean, uh, sports center around sports center. Besides <laughs> swimming, <laughs> this for eight. Are you sure? Are you sure, Nanny? Uh, you will. Okay, let's try. Does, does it open further or not? Let's try another. You sure? It's just the sky. It's just the sky. Is that sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The answer. Okay. The answer is. Mm, correct. It's correct. Correct. This is. This is the main main stadium. Of Kagan University. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. You will get one point. <laughs> one point. Okay. Name me, Next one. Next one. Next one. Central Men Studio. Okay, can we ask uh, who? And Nanny, can you give a number? Mm, number, number one. Number one. one. Okay. Okay. It's not. No. Give number. Uh, eight. eight. Anyone knows this? Yes. Can you choose number? 
This one is a, a plastic leg. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How long you have been here in China? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, because I always go there. Oh. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Yeah, I do exercise there in the uh -huh. evening time. So do or, you sit? Or sometime in the morning time. Hmm. Badri. Thank you yeah. for the answer, buddy. One yeah, thank you. Mm. Thanks. Ah, Pimon, you choose number. Mm. Um, eleven. Eleven. Mm. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> anyone know? Adri. Madi. This is a place to do. Is yes. that Bung Sitan? Sitan Lake. <laughs> what? You yes. sure? You sure? It's just the crowd and the yes. sky. Yes, this one is Sitan Lake. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. Correct. Yay. Wow. This mistake here. Well done. So many of you uh, have been to Sitan Lake. Wow, congratulations. Saying, yeah, good. <laughs> get all the, get so the foreign so foreigner teach uh, foreigner student now they have uh, been known more about uh, uh, some location, uh, some places in Kikiyu or uh, Kiki uh, province. Yeah, yeah, right. Very good. <laughs> very good, ha. Next. Yeah, come, come from. Ah, Akung, you choose. Okay, I will select 15. Hmm? Uh, flower. Uh, complex. <laughs> really? No. I choose number one. Uh, uh, the student, you can choose number and a half. Number four. Number four, okay. No idea. <laughs> number eight. Number eight. Yeah, there was. Hmm. Konkenzu. Konkenzu. Yeah. 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 Where is Konkenzu at San Henry? Do you know that? Konkenzu is a little bit north of uh, Konken, I believe, going in the it's, direction uh, of. Uh, Khao Son Guang. Yeah. Khao Son Guang. Sub Sub District. Mm. Yes. So it's the way to go to Udon Thani, Udon Thani. province. Yes. Oh. yes. Is it far away from the KKU? If counting from KKU, I think um 40 to 40 to 50 minutes. It's past uh, Nampong, right? Hi. Yeah, it's it's past Nampong. Uh, but before oh. Kumpawabi. Okay, so it is uh 40 or uh, 50 minutes or something like that okay yes Minute. you mean by car uh, I mean, I mean by, car, by, by car. car by car yes <laughs> yeah okay, all right thank you. thank you so it's also one of our tourist at attraction in Kongen province but it's outside the city right yeah okay next uh miss punang you can choose <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with the at 12? 8. 8. 8. Oh, eight. <laughs> oh Natural Museum. <laughs> right. That's you great. touched the point. Very important That's point. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, natural, oh. yeah, natural oh. history museum. Yeah. Yeah. This one. It's near the lake. Yes. Right, buddy. Miss Bonam, you have. You have to go there. Have you okay. ever been there, Miss Punam? No, no, not there. It's also <laughs> one of KKU Natural Museum. So inside that is uh show you about natural things, the history, mm. some kind of the science or the nature. Yes. Mm. Not a single place I visited right now. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, ha, thank you. Any other students volunteering to choose a number? Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> Why number eight? Number eight is the twelve. Ah, thirteen. Thirteen. I can 
read Thai. If, if you can read Thai, you already know. <laughs> if anyone can read Thai, international student, no. <laughs> oh, where is it? Uh? This is called. Right. It's a nation, national park. National park. Oh, uh, is that Pukadeng? No, no, no. It's on the way to Pukadeng, but it's not Pukadeng. Uh, I thought, Henry, can you explain yeah. this place to a student? Uh, it's uh, Pu Paman. Ah, Pu Paman, uh, Pa means cliff. Paman is the name of the park. Mm -hmm. It's a um, uh, little bit less known than Pukradung. Maybe I can ask who knows Pukradung? Who of you knows the park? Pimon, no. Pukradung. Yes, I know Pukradung. Pukradung is so to uh, Lui 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 after after Shumpe district, right? Of after Shumpe, then you turn yeah, right yeah. and for another, uh, another 30, 40 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, the, after the after Shumpe district is about yeah. uh, another one and a half drive, one and a half hour drive. It's mm -hmm. kind of higher than, than this one. Pukadung is, uh, is challenging because you have to climb uh, yeah. about 1,000 meters. If you arrive <laughs> on the top, you will be very tired. Uh, Pupaman, the one, the one on this picture that you see right now, is on the way to Pukadung. It's more like a sightseeing place. Mm. It's a national park, about one hour drive away from Konken to the west. And you know, this is, this, there is the code for KKU student that if you are the KKU student, you have to visit Pukadung at least one time that you study in KKU. Yeah. <laughs> but take care, the park is closed <laughs> from June till September because of the rainy season. So uh, you have to be before June. Chai, <laughs> And I can recommend it. It's a beautiful park. Yeah. So if you have time, you can try to visit there. And try to find some other students who want to join so you can make a joint <laughs> weekend activity and you can make, make friends again can so anybody who's interested in nature yes, i love to go there so if someone could join to me please let me <laughs> oh yeah right That's you good. can make a plan now and then make a new make plan. A plan yeah now. yeah holiday yeah. is coming yeah. soon you can even uh, in Pukadung, you can even stay overnight on the top. They have like camping locations mm, and you can nice. uh, sleep, sleep on the top and in the morning have breakfast and watch the sun rise from wow. the from the cliff. And it's a really beautiful sunrise and then walk down back the next the next day. So Saturday, Sunday would be a very nice uh, period to do that. Okay. Also, because Saturday, Sunday is more busy in the week, it's very quiet. Uh, but Saturday, Sunday is more busy. So you have more opportunity to meet with the Thai people and talk with them okay oh we still have maybe one or two more maybe three number three four four <laughs> happy, ah, garden. happy garden happy garden happy garden my chai my chai no? <laughs> seven We got it. Wow. Wasn't ready. <laughs> 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 already. No idea. Buddy, do you know that? I, I have no idea too. <laughs> Did I care? Oh. Buddy, no, you know that. Hi. <laughs> Is one of Alana. Oh. Ah, someone already answered. Bung Tung Sang. Bung Tung Sang. Where is this? Konken. In Konken. Mm. Mm. It's also one of uh, exercise place and relax place in the Konken city. We call Bung Tung Sang. It's in the city of Konken province. How yes. to get there? How to get there? Song Tao. Song Tao. Song Tao maybe can, but I'm not sure that that, that is passed to that yeah. park or not. But if you take the motorbike or car from KKU, it will take around 20 or 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. So maybe if you feel bored about plastic lake, you want to explore more exercise place, you can go to Bung Tung Sang. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, central, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was one of our more, more difficult ones. I, <laughs> yes, shopping mall, center shopping mall. Iconic place. 
Yes. Anybody ever been there? Yes. <laughs> to to do shopping, no? Shopping, <laughs> everything, everything must go to Sentan, nah. Or just for recreation, that's it. Okay. For vaccine. For vaccine, <laughs> right? For vaccine, right? Yeah. This one, ah. Uh. Ah, golden. What? Golden. Golden Dubai Lee. Chai. Golden Dubai. Correct. When you do commencement mm. day, when you will graduate, you will attend this ceremony mm -hmm. in this building. Yes. See? It's also near to Sitan Lake. Right. The Golden Jubilee. Oh. So Maybe nice. one or two more. Ah, this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah. Can you guess what is that? What is that? This one is uh, in KKU, you see? In KKU, yes. Medicine faculty? No. Hmm? It's nearby. Maybe more? None. <laughs> and why? But I'm not. Can I pay the shot? Maybe number 13. Here. Yeah. So Sina Karin Hospital is KKU Hospital is also considered as the medical heart center. Uh, and soon we will have the SMC Center, which wow. is the excellent healthcare center. If you get sick, you better go to, go to Sina Karin. Okay. Okay, that's all. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I think we have fun, very have fun today. <laughs> yes. And um, we're so happy that you guys joined to this program. Even though we have some a little bit technical problem, we right. have to say sorry. Yeah. And we hopefully to see you again for the next time. Right. Mm -hmm. So drop so out. So this, this program is uh, partly meant to be uh, a meeting place for international students and also for Thai students, um, which would help make friends. Uh, it is meant to be informative, so I hope uh, we had nine questions, I think, today. Right. Nine. Uh, I hope we answered the questions um, in a helpful way. We will have this meeting every first Friday of the month, so the next week meeting will be on uh, April, probably the April, first, I'm not maybe. sure, if, uh, yeah. anyway, the first Friday in April. Um, we will announce the activity again and then you can register and leave yeah. the questions and of course we will send you the Zoom link to join like this again next time. Okay, thank you very much. Is, for is any, anybody have uh, any remarks uh, about, about the IED corner? Yes, I am very uh, yes, I am very uh, thankful that you offers the the meeting today uh, for the monthly or I might say a quarter quarterly meeting or semester meeting or the monthly meeting. I think it's it's every but month we try to do every it. month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I might say uh, this one is make good relationship between the one to one or foreigners student that they are be here and. Especially, you know, we, we can share the uh, experience to each other, both study and experience. And especially uh, many places in KKU or KK province. Yeah. And, and one was that uh, in, in terms of the foreigners uh, students, I am come from Cambodia. I am very, I, I feel warmly because uh, I have uh, IAD, yeah, I always have uh, both place, both, uh, and also in my faculty as well, yeah, and also all of you here. And so my suggestion or my recommendation to the others, uh, the foreigner students, if you, you, you do not keep your mind, you do not keep your mind. We feel free and we feel be warm and we feel uh, we, we feel be uh, like uh, 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 I might say uh, 
close friend together yeah so we will have more uh, good relationship and especially good memories to each other for uh, the uh, from the kku especially the uh, in thailand see because i used to be here in 2007 or uh, so that uh, we are very happy and especially good I, I met more uh, some Thai student that they can uh, exchange that they can be exchangeable with the uh, culture, especially uh, the food, samtam and pla. Yeah, very delicious in Thailand in KKU. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Chan, thank you, uh, all of you. Yes. Thank you, Rina, for your yes, you. uh, for your comments. Yes, thank you. Okay, Ka. Sure. So. I think that is for today right. and we hopefully to meet you all again next time, right? Okay, okay. Say you. Say goodbye. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, yeah, bye. 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 Bye.